So I burrowed directly into the circus, and you can too with DF Hack. Uh, I'm going to take you through how I usually use DF Hack to cheat my way directly into the circus. This is your spoiler warning. If you don't want to hear about Endgame Dwarf Fortress stuff, um, I'm about to discuss it in great detail and very liberally. So uh, that's your warning. All right, let's go. So when I say the circus, of course, I mean the lowest levels of the map down uh, where the clowns, which is to say demons are. Um, and in this map, I've just been going crazy with uh, DF Hack to just kind of try to remember how I used to use it. So I've got Fast Dwarf on all the time. I'm constantly removing stress. I'm not dealing with happiness or anything at all. Anytime anyone dies, uh, we immediately replace them with a Force Migrants event. Um, so we, this, this fortress has no amenities, basically, and we have just tunneled straight down to hell. And um, yeah, it's pretty good down there. So here, here let me... Let me show you the, the products here. If you want to do like I did, all you have to do is get into DF Hack and get into the liquids menu. This is how I do it. Uh, and the liquids menu is kind of like tile types is a related one where it's very detailed and you kind of have to teach yourself the minor programming language. You know, you have to teach yourself how to explain what you want. But liquids is a function in DF Hack where you can create water, you can create magma, you can set or remove these as sources, you know, so that uh, you can set or remove flow. So you know how like rivers will never run out of water and they have like a directional flow, but then a pond doesn't, it'll drain up and it doesn't flow. That has to do with sources and um, flow. So you can set all those and then just set a, a point in your um, in the, what am I, I'm looking at the video and I'm trying to describe it. You pick a square, basically. You pick a square on the on the screen and then you can execute these commands. Oh, huge thank you, before I get much farther, huge thank you to Donbert, who helped me make a lot of these DF hack things work again. So if you watch my last video, you remember that I was talking about how the interactions between the keyboard and the cursor, uh, the mouse cursor, that is, that these are a little different than they are in older versions. And then I was having trouble with things like dig circle, or in this case, what I had to force myself to learn it, uh, tile types and liquids. So Donberg gave me the clue on that, which is that you have to go into game settings and set, uh, enable some other secondary cursor, basically. Um, it's pinned in my last video, so go back one video and then go to the pin comment, and he does a great job of explaining it. It's actually hard to... Uh, explain here. But so anyway, I got that working. And what I do with liquids is, um, what, what you can do with liquids is, to circle back to the nearest thing, what you can do with liquids is create any amount, any flow, any source um, of water or magma or obsidian. And that's what's critical to this plan in my case. Um, and then you can set, you can create that as a point or a block. It makes like a, um, I don't know, like a 15 by 15 block, maybe seven by seven, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. I'm bad at uh, estimating estimating grids, but grid was the word I was looking for earlier also. Um, but so what I do is I just make blocks of obsidian on every level. You know, you execute the command in DF hack, scroll down one Z level, execute the man command again, scroll down one Z level. There may even be a way to do this more efficiently, but oh, this footage that we're getting to right here is, um, again, I don't care about, I'm doing everything so messily and so poorly, I just flooded my... Um, yeah, I just flooded a whole level with magma, infinite magma, and I saved it as LOLOLOL because we're just having fun today. Fun in, in every sense of the word, especially the Dwarf Fortress sense of fun. Um, but so what I do with liquids is I create an obsidian block and I basically apply that to every level such that we have an obsidian column. Now this circumvents two safety mechanisms on the circus on hell. Uh, the f main one being, the first one being that it is normally blocked off by an infinite magma sea, and there are specific, like, gem-studded wall points where you can, and adamantine vein points um, are, you know, the main thing. Um, but these are the only ways in. So there's bottlenecks in terms of you coming down into this area, because most of it is covered by magma that you're never going to be able to clear in a traditional way, uh, or at least, you know, without it being a crazy mega project. Um, and so, but if you make a straight column of obsidian straight through, then you have, your dwarves have something to dig through and the magma sea becomes no issue. The other thing that it circumvents is the fact that hell is usually separated from the rest of the map by a few Z levels of open air. So, um, and you know, all demons basically can fly, virtually all of them can, 
So um, you will be harassed and not be able to carefully build down um, in most situations, again, without it being a pretty impressive mega project. But in this case, um, you just use DF hack and, li and the liquids um, sub routine in there. And, um, and yeah, and then you just dig straight down. That's what in the thumbnail and what you'll see by the end of this, I set it up. So the footage here, we just breached hell um, and the demons are coming out and you can see the, those squares in the middle are my obsidian plugs. Oh, the third thing that this hack surmounts, which would usually make it impossible to get down into hell in virtually all situations, is that you can't dig slade, which is that gray stone that everything is made out of. Um, and you can't dig the, the purple either. That's eerie pits. Um, so nothing is diggable. So you can't really like build or fortify into it. Um, so that's the third thing that these obsidian columns are letting me do. One other thing I should mention is that I did get um, that same glitch that I documented earlier, the what I called uh, Clown Strike, Clowns on Strike, um, where the demons did spawn, and I think you just saw in that footage there, they all kind of wander off to other parts of the map. And um, if you go back to that video and find it, uh, you'll see that there's people in the comments disgusting, disgusting, <laughs> forgive me, discussing. Uh, not disgusting. I love, I love my community discussions, but um, that we're discussing why this glitch might be occurring and whether the, uh, oh, so this is actually new research on that. So um, in this failed one that you're about to see, um, I ended up having to save scum because the, it turned out that, right, okay, this is good. This is synced up. So you see all the demons leaving, very clearly leaving. What I ended up doing was getting too confident and sending my dwarves out onto the surface of hell, which you'll see here. Um, and so they're going wherever they want. They're making stockpiles. And what ends up happening is it actually reveals more of hell. So I don't know. Well, you can see in the mini map there that, like, there is more hell to be revealed. But then when I did that, that turned out to be where all of the clowns were. They were actually still on my map, but they were hiding in an undiscovered corner. And then when I discovered them in that second time, it seemed to trigger them correctly. And they, they come up, uh, what we're looking at right here, this portal that we're sealing off, it, that portal was open because I thought that they were placid. And then uh, they end up wiping this base. So I, you know, I just tried again. But so that's some extra information. And obviously this glitch, um, you can't blame on Dwarf Fortress Vanilla because I'm, I'm going so crazy with DF hack. But, um, that first video where I document that glitch, uh, is absolutely vanilla. So, um, I consider that still good bug tracking on my part. Um, so yeah, here's how we're building the, uh, the little apartment buildings. Obsidian, um, will replace uh, semi-molten rock, the thing that you can't dig through as you're trying to get through to the sur surface. Oh, that's the other thing. magma -y, but also semi-molten rock will force you to enter through an adamantine vein or a, um, a gem-studded wall, which usually has a vein inside of it. And now I'm thinking, what happens if I keep going down? Like, we're now outside the bounds of where you're ever supposed to get dwarves. So, I mean, but I could keep doing that, there is a final bottom level, you know, if you scroll down, the elevation counters eventually stop. So I guess that's just a flat slade bedrock. Um, but if I could replace that with a column all the way down, maybe I could begin to colonize. I, I think I can, just um, the same way that you would carefully, the same way with like a hostile embark where you make a ver one secure area, which would be these apartments here. Um, and then you just uh, slowly expand that. So I mean, we're set. It's not hard. I mean, again, I just, I hacked it in, basically. One thing that's interesting, and um, you've probably seen in this footage, if, if you've been watching close attention, that um, I made good on my promise. Every time traders come in, we immediately teleport in um, and attack them so many times, like the flash, that they explode. Um, we're doing the same thing with any enemies or, you know, people who are coming back for revenge after we do that with the traders, uh, claiming all their stuff. But you'll see, so for a sense of scale about how strong a demon actually is and how strong these um fast dwarfs are is um that in my previous videos you'll see that a demon will take out like 10 good very skilled fighters at least you know i would say in my experience and if you know you don't have any really excellent like heroes to take down a clown then the clown will eat infinitely will eat all of your dwarves and they'll like never hurt it more or less um like you have to be you have to be pretty skilled to make a dent in these at all 
Um, and these fast dwarves actually end up doing it. So when I, you'll see when um, I get more of Hell Revealed and then the enemies aggro again, basically, uh, what happens is that my fast dwarves are teleporting all over the demons and um, and making progress. But then I think, you know, that's what makes them aggro is uh, is gets the attention of all the other demons. And um, the demons end up winning and like clearing them out. But you'll see um, it should be coming up here. Yeah, so this was from the failed attempt where I was trying to just colonize out. I was literally building a bridge and a staircase, and my dwarves were walking out onto the surface of the slade. You know, it's like the moon, the moonwalk. But then when we get out over this hill, there you go. Now it's starting right on your right side of the screen. Uh, they're tussling. So, and so you can see they're doing it. They're doing a great job. And I thought that they might be so fast that they could literally even take these demons down but then you see another one comes in from off the edge of the map and like the game doesn't know what to do with that it's popping in and out of the edge of the map and then i end up targeting it and i guess following it back um i really don't know how the vision works in this you can see the web's going crazy um so now yeah we're like we're pulling aggro from off that map and there now it, it pops open and now we can see where all the demons seem to have went during the weird thing where they failed to come up uh, as they should. But so now they're mad and uh, demon uh, clowns still faster, or not faster, but still more powerful than fast dwarves, at least mine. And so they do end up coming up and because my dwarves are so distracted, oh, sorry, I, hit, I just hit my knee. <laughs> Ow, okay, I'm back. That was a bad one. But um, because, what was I saying? Because my dwarves are so distracted, they're all getting pulled into this fight. You can see the population is dropping, dropping, dropping. And um, because they can teleport in, it's like the whole fortress is now teleported in and now doing combat in hell. And that's what I realized when I switched back. And you can see all the bloodshed and fire and whatever else is dripping out of all these wounded things now. But so this turned out not to be the way to do it. And you see now we're going to switch in just a few seconds to my third attempt. And that's where the nice safe apartment buildings um that you see in the thumbnail are from uh, but uh yeah this is just a really funny little map now and i'm gonna keep i'm gonna slowly keep pressing out and colonizing the uh the place that we're not even supposed to get into so we're gonna see if we can claim the circus for ourselves and uh what's it called where the inside of something like expands to the point that it's now encircling something else entirely. I think there must be a technical or medical word for that, but we're going to do that. Insist, insist the uh, circus, I guess. All right, well, if I made it this far, then I must be running out of things to say. There you can see, I'm a man of my word, uh, just hacked in with obsidian blocks, easy as. Um, and it looks like I am running out of footage too, so I'll just remind everybody, um, please like, leave a comment or a question. It all really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, we are still trying to hit 500 subscribers, but we've been stuck for a while. I've made my piece. If there's only 500 people who like Dwarf Fortress and my voice out there in the world, then I still feel pretty lucky because, uh, you know, that's more than I might have expected. So, um, yep, thanks as always for, for uh, your support on these videos, and I will catch everybody in the next one.